Hi, it's Jeff Corhan, and it is Monday, August 3rd. Thanks for joining me. Today, the topic is how to separate the social media pros from the novices. And it's very easy to do on the social media platform because this platform tends to amplify who you really are. You know who's a pro, and many of them are experienced business people, but then other times you might see professional social media marketers who have just taken the time to observe the pros and learn from them. And that's what I'm going to cover today in this post is really just how to follow some very basic steps so that you don't come off looking like a novice on social media. And there are certainly many of those. Step number one is to do something that we can all do and that is to do the common in uncommon ways. And a classic example of how this was accomplished recently was when President Obama held his so-called beer summit. What he did was he called a meeting at the White House to quell this uh, conflict between Professor Henry Gates from Harvard and the police officer that arrested him. And he called a meeting at the White House, but he didn't hold the traditional formal meeting. What he did was he got everybody together out in the Rose Garden, sitting on plastic chairs, having a beer. And there was some controversy over the beer, but the beer was more about being a symbol of what the working class person is all about. And I think that's what President Obama was trying to accomplish. So simply think about your business and how you can twist things and turn them upside down a little bit and do what is really a common thing, but do it in an uncommon way. And you'll probably get noticed on the social media networks as a result of that. And then you will be able to advance your business cause, your message, your purpose, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. So that's number one. Number two is when you're using the social media networks, use details. Details make the message come alive. Recently, a friend of mine in the green industry made a very simple post on Facebook where he said that he was on Lake Minnetonka. I'm, I'm on Lake Minnetonka. It was something like that. And the response that he received was, let me know if you see prints up there. Well, those of us outside of Minnesota, I presume, have this association of prints with Minnesota in general, but more specifically, Lake Minnetonka, because it was mentioned specifically in Prince's film. So there's a little bit of humor to that, and this is actually a technique that humorists use. The detail makes the message come alive. So use detail, make your message come alive. And then finally, if you're going to be a pro and not a novice, you have to be believable. And the only way to do that is to tell it like it is. When you tell it like it is, you're honest, you're genuine, you're authentic, and you're not trying to be somebody else. For example, when I was first applying for a business loan, when I started my business years ago, I was told to forecast revenue growth of 10% a year because that's believable. That's what the lenders expected. I should have told them that I was going to have phenomenal growth the first year because we were small and it was going to taper off a little bit after that and we might even see some down years, but you're not supposed to do that. Well, guess what? And the social media networks, you have to be believable. You have to put it out there. You have to tell it like it is. And when you do that in uncommon ways and spice it up with some details, you're going to get your message across and you're going to be observed as a social media pro. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you this week. I'll see you next time. Until then, please encourage your friends to go to jeffcorhan.com where they can get their own copy of this video blog post.